crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. We're glad you could join us for today's matchup featuring two very well-coached teams as the Oilers match up against the home team. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Number 16 is back and ready to push this one in the air. Duncan back deep to return. This one is fielded by Duncan. So they have first and ten here. Here we go, baby. Number 41, the lone back. He gets the handoff on the delay. Bingham is there on the stop at the 28. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Second and two. Mitchell goes in motion. Under pressure, throws this one away. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Third and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. Dig in, dig in. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. Watch the man. Play hard and fast, baby. Big play, baby. A little misdirection. Young got very good penetration there. They can't get the first down on that running play. And since they're not in field goal range, we should see the punt unit. Coleman into return. Three. The home team scoop it up. The 20, the 10, and he'll take it all away. Touchdown. A great run back after the fumble recovery. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Now we get to see how this defense reacts after scoring a touchdown. Will they continue to get after the ball carrier? Or will they get too greedy trying to force fumbles and end up missing tackles? Lee is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is taken by number 81. The defense caused a fumble the last time out and ended up taking it back for six. They'll take over at the 22-yard line. First and ten. The home team come out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. May comes up to make the play at the 27. When you have a good balance of run and pass on offense, the defense doesn't have a chance to focus in on either one of them. They need to be prepared to cover both options. It's second down and four to go. They don't get nothing. Campbell, the deep back. Check it out, baby. Blue down, blue down. Check it. Hendrick is there for the tackle at the 30. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Third and one coming up on this play. They'll go from the I formation. Going for the first on short yardage. Gets rid of it. It was tipped. 
He somehow got that pass off. The play didn't work because the quarterback's timing and balance was off. When he starts to feel pressure, he gets a little nervous, and he has to get rid of the ball. Volk sets up to run back the punt. He can't control the ball. The home team scoop it up. That was a lucky bounce. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. The Oilers come out on a nickel package. Gets the call. Play action. Gets the pass off. Caught by the fullback on the left side. United put the ball in there perfectly. And that's one thing this guy does well. Put the ball right in the place where it needs to be. Ball on their own 31. Ball on the 31 yard line. The home team come out of the bunch of women. Washington is there for this tackle at the 34, number 36. Manages a yard or two on the delay play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 34-yard line. Rosen. It appears they've gotten someone for holding on the play. Holding on the offense. Number 62. This one is going to be on the offense. I don't know what the heck that was all about. There wasn't any holding on that one. Third and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. The Oilers come out of a nickel package. They don't get nothing. Hey, get out of the screen. Turn it up now. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. From the 26. Now it's their turn to do something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early. But these guys have the kind of offense that can score any time they have the ball. Ball on their own 32. At the 32-yard line. First and 10. The home team come out in a nickel package. They'll pass on first down. Rowing. Curtis comes up to make the play at the 35-yard line. Number seven completes that one, and it goes for about four yards. Second and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Oh, we go, The home team with a four-man front crosses it out to the left. Logan is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. The back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. They pick up 14 yards, all right around midfield. They give it to the halfback. Man is there for the tackle. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Clear! Clear! All right, here we go. The home team line up at a 4-3. He hands it off. Volk is there on the stop at the 42. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. Stepping up with the throw. 
Number 47 is there for the tackle at the 30-yard line. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. Ball on the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30-yard line. What's green? Let's go, let's go. The home team come out in a 4-3. Fumble. The Oilers scoop up the fumble. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. Second and about one. Ball on the 20-yard line. So they're inside the 20, need to get a touchdown. Gets rid of an incomplete pass. Can't complete the short pass attempt, so they'll have a third down now. And this is the eighth play of this drive. The defense lines up in the nickel. On the carry. With the throw. And the catch is made. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Number seven with a man in motion. Gives the ball off. Milton is there on the stop at the nine yard line. And that's a gain of about eight. And this is the tenth play of this drive. Ball inside the ten. After one quarter of football, a touchdown separates these two teams with the score. Baltimore, seven. Houston, zero. The teams as for size, and they'll start the second quarter. Nine yards, they'll be in the end zone. There you go. The home team line up in a 4-3. Here we go, baby. Everything you've got. Give it off. Curtis is there on the stop at the eight-yard line. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no game. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. They're eight yards from the end zone. Hand it off to the back. Hendrick is there for the tackle. No They're in the field goal range, so after failing to get the first down, let's see what they decide to do here. This Number 16 comes in to attempt a yards. field goal, which would give them their first score of the day. Oh, yeah. so right and good. good. Each play you run on offense tires out the defense a little more. When you can put together that many plays in a row, it gets you into scoring position. This time, it got him three. Houston is lined up for the kickoff. Duncan back to return. From the two-yard line. Can't bring him down. So after being forced to punt the last time they had it, the offense heads back out onto the field. Ball on their own 27. At the 27 yard line. First and 10. Yeah, you see me. Going to the right. Number 65 is there for the tackle at the 27 yard line. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, the hole was closing up. So it's second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. So low! So low! Only one man see, back. Mackey moves in motion. Hey, watch that three! Let's go! Be good! He tucks it away. Number 52 is there on the stop with at the, the 27. No gain on that on play the as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. Third and, Third and long. Ball on the 27-yard line. 
Only one man back. Dropping back. Closing in. Rowing. Nice adjustment. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Number 50, fourth down. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 14-yard line. First in their ten. own territory. Ball on the 14-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. Get it, Sean. Oh, no, dude. They soft, man. Yeah. Come on. Not today. Pushes it out to the left. The ball comes up to make the play at the 20. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. One of us will make a play. They both left. Barber moves in motion. Here we go, baby. Here we come. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Nobody picks up the running back. Number 47 is there for the tackle at the 24. Number seven completes the short one. About a four-yard gain on second down. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. We do it. We do it. All right. Sends this pass out of play. And it appears they might have gotten Attention him for grounding. Only offense. Number seven. That one's going to down. be called intentional grounding. The quarterback needs to move outside the tight end box to throw the ball away. If he throws it before he's out of the box, it's a penalty. Both will go back to accept this punt. From the 37-yard line. 48-yard punt. Return for a gain of one yard. Two-minute warning coming up. Yard line. First and ten. We it up. Then we go take it. There we go. Number 41. The long back. Hand it off. Number 37 is there for the tackle. At the 47. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. Get it up! Crosses it out to the right. Bingham stops him at the 49-yard line. That run is good for a first down, their first one of the game. Minutes to go. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. We're talking about green. Number 41, the deep back. Mackey in motion. Here we go, baby. Let's go. They'll bring the blitz with the throw, and he makes the grab. Number 20 is there on the stop at the 45 yard line. Mitchell with the reception and a five yard gain. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ball on the 45-yard line. Keep moving. Oh, my God. Here comes the blitz. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. On third down, they have to reach the 41 to convert. One of us going to make a play. From the start, from the start. Defense, get ready. To carry it, fakes the handoff, rowing, and it's complete. Number 37 comes up to make the play at the 35. The fullback was on the receiving end. And he's a good option coming out of the backfield. He can do a lot more than just block. He can catch it out of the backfield, carry it, 
And heck, I've even seen him throw it once or twice. Number 41 in the backfield. Setting up play action. Rosen jumps up. He has it. Number 37 is there on the stop at the 15-yard line. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old-fashioned drop back and pass. And it's working. So they have first and 10 here. All on the 15-yard line. It's on. Will, Will, Will. Only one man back. Gets rid of it. Number 52 comes up to make the play at the 12. Passing on first down is a way of keeping the defense off balance. If you're successful, you could set up big runs on first down or any typical passing situation. Ball on the 12-yard line. Eighth play of this drive. There's about one minute left. I'm coming through, baby. Number 41 is the deep back. Mitchell moves in motion. Hand it off to the back. Bingham is there on the stop at the 12-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. And hers is the ninth play of this drive. They're inside the 15. The Oilers come out in a nickel packet. Dropping back. Goes to the end zone. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Fourth down here should have been a lot better than a turnover. Which is what the defense should have had on that play. Number eight heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. The attack is good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they're thinking touchdown for their next one. Lee will be kicking off. This one is taken by number 81. The Oilers will have to hurry it up as they start to drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Campbell, the low setback. Number 88 moves in motion. Pass play here on first down. Throws this one away. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Ball Second on their own 10. 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Hey, let's go. All day, baby. Come on. Ran right. The yeah. home team with a four man front. Deuce it, deuce it. Turn it up, now. Let's go. Let's Dropping go. back with the throw. Almost picked off. And Hendricks had back. his hands on it. He's a pretty good Harvard cover linebacker. He can run with most guys and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Third and ten. Ball on the twenty-yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. Hold on, that's y'all. The, the home team. Go, that was one go. linebacker let's and go. several defensive backs. Deep throw. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. On the play. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. From the 32-yard line, a little juke there. Wolf returns this one to the 37. Baltimore will start the drive at the 37-yard line. First and ten. From the start, from the start. Go make the play. Hey, watch the screen. They saw the man. The blitz is on. Throwing. The wide receiver has it. They're going to spot this one at the 48-yard line. And that tackle gives him three in the game. They'll move the chains with that completion. Yeah, that was a great recognition by the quarterback. 
knowing where to go with the football against the blitz and knowing how to get it there. The home team timeout call a timeout. The they have none left. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Let's go, Rob. Run there. They ain't got nothing. Put it on his fans, baby. Give it up. Watch him in. Going to the air on first down. It's rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. So what the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. One back. Number 41, the lone back. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Number 37 is there for the tackle at the 32. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Play football. Pump fakes, pressure coming. The rush gets him from behind. What a tremendous individual effort by the defensive lineman. That's the kind of defensive player you can build a team around. Having a guy like that up front allows you to drop seven or eight guys back in coverage and still get a pass run. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Baltimore, 10. Houston, 3. Lee comes in to kick off. Booming kick downfield. This one is taken by number 81. Number 81 has a nice return, taking it back to the 27. Ball on their own 27. At the 27 yard line. First and 10. Let's go, boys! Danny, Danny, Danny! The home team with a four-man front, looking upfield, throwing. And he hits his target. Duncan brings him down at the 34. Number seven completes the pass, good pick up about seven yards. Ball on their own 34. Ball on the 34-yard line. Come on! Hey, score, score, score! Here we go! They give it to the halfback. Curtis comes up to make the play. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Third and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Here we go, baby. Yeah, you see me. Hey, watch the ball. Watch the snap down. And he plays it safe by going down to the turf. Good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. From the 26 yard line. 42 yard punt. Return for a gain of three yards. Baltimore will start the drive at the 29 yard line. First and 10. Watch this. Only one man back on the call. Number 20 is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. The blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37-yard line. Let's go. Deuce it, deuce it. Blue down, blue down. Lucky, lucky. All right, now. Rolls right, gets the pass off, low throw, but he has it. That little dump off will move the chains. I'll tell you, this guy is known as one of the most accurate quarterbacks around. And part of that is because he makes a lot of passes like these. They're almost like long handoffs. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. Keep the throttle down. Yeah. Number 36, the lone back. Hey, watch that screen. Gets rid of it. Hit the one. No, it's caught. Jefferson, Jefferson means about seven yards seven on yard that reception. On the play. Second and three. Ball on the 49 yard line. It's on. Number 23, the deep man. Looking to run it here. 
Great fake with the throw. Alexander makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. He puts something extra on that throw, and that'll keep the chains moving. Yeah, he can really fire it in there when he needs to. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Go low! Go low! I'm coming through, baby. Number 41, the lone back. Gets rid of it. Pass comes in low, but he has it. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. Ball on the 25-yard line. Get it up! Let's go! Perkins, in motion. Gets the pass off. Alexander is there for the tackle at the 20. Perkins. Goes down immediately, that'll bring up second down. Goal on the 20 yard line. Let us get it Hey, watch the screen. They'll make this a two possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. Washington is there on the stop at the eight. eight. On the offense. Number 88. That he held them up. The rule on the hold is you can't let your hands go to the outside of the body. If your hands do move outside, then you have to move them back in as soon as you can, or you'll get second called for holding. 14. It's now second Ball and long the after the penalty. Yard line. Hey, on the ground. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. If they can get it to the 15-yard line, they'll get a first down. Dropping back. You can't escape. The defense likes to keep the pressure on. They'll bring extra guys on an overloaded side, hoping for turnover opportunity. Number 80 needs to put everything he has into this one. What a kick. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. all of that one. This one is handled by number 81. <laughs> Stiff arm keeps him at bay. The defense did a great job on the last series forcing the offense to go three and out. Ball on their own 18. At the 18-yard line. First and 10. Hey, let's go. the carry breaks the tackle logan comes up to make the play at the 24 yard line campbell picks up some tough yards there ball on their own 24 ball on the 24 yard line keep the throttle down what screen here we go baby here we go crosses it left Hendricks is there for the tackle at the 25-yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Third and three. Ball on the 25-yard line. So we're going to take it. Come on. Campbell, the lone setback. No stop, no stop that motor. With the pass. Logan makes the stop before the first down is reached. The pass is caught, but just shy of the first down. That was perfect defense. They allowed the catch, but they were there to make the tackle. Number 18 is ready to punt this one away. Volk lines up deep for the punt return. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 28-yard line. Ball 
on their own 28. The 28 yard line. First and 10. Lucky, lucky. You gotta believe it. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand off to the tailback. This one will be spotted at the 30 yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the home team ahead of the Oilers 13 3. The home team have the ball and a two score advantage as we get set for the final quarter. A second down and eight to go. What's the hard count? Deucer, deucer. They both know. The Oilers come out in a nickel pack. Pressure throwing it away. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Third down and long Ball coming up here. 30 yard line. We're talking about Brian. Hey, D line, watch the screen. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hey, watch that screen. Looks like somebody got off the Good line ball. a little early here. Ball start on the offense. Number 50. They have to repeat third, third down. down. That's what you call an uphill battle for the first down. Now, third down with a long way to go after the penalty on the offense. The Oilers come out in a dime package on the carry. Wilson is there on the stop at the 27. The third down run, not enough to keep the drive alive, so the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Coleman is the deep return man. They'll spot this one where it went out. Holding on the receiving team. Number 57. Penalties and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. First, First and, and ten. ten. Ball on the 18-yard line. The home team with a four-man front going to the right. Logan is there for the tackle at the 19. Campbell was able to get a yard or two on the toss. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 19 yard line. You gotta have it, dude. Throws this one away. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Here is a third and long situation. All day, baby. Come on. Oh, all day. Keep it up. We're talking to Rat. The Oilers guy. come out of the bunch shoot. formation. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Keeping him at bay. The 30. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time, they need him to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go. Come on. They'll pass on first down. Under pressure. This pass is incomplete. This guy's so strong, he was able to get that pass away. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here we go. The home team with a four-man front. Wilson, the man in motion. Dropping back with the throw. Wide open to the running back. Number 47 is there for the tackle at the 32. Now this is where they really have to step up. If they are a better defense, and they're going to be the better defense, they have to show it right now. Two-yard gain. Ball on their own 32. Here we go. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Number 30 comes up to make the play at the 36. That's the kind of mental error that drives coaches crazy. As a receiver, you got to be aware of where you are in the field and where you have to go to get the first down. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Number 18 will come in now to punt it away. Volk sets up, waiting for the punt. Fair catch called for 
Fair catch made at the 18-yard line. Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. Not today. Bring it off. Bring it off. Gets to the leg of handle. We want to spot this one at the 18. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. The defense made that play stretch further than the runner wanted to make it. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 18 yard line. Run it out, man. I can do it, man. On the 10, 10. All on us, y'all. They'll blow this play dead because there appears Dead to have been early movement. Let's start on the offense. Number 23 Second moved down. a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, Second you can't ball. move until the ball snaps. After the penalty, it's now second and long. Perkins moves in motion. Bingham comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. And that's a gain of about eight. But they've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. Watch the vertical, watch the vertical. Come on. Hey, let's go. Play hard and fast, baby. The tailback, Alexander, makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. They played it safe, stayed on the ground, nothing doing. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Time's running out for them. So if they want to get back in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get into the end zone on this possession. It's first, first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. You got to believe it. It's our game. Three shoot. Gets the pass off. Ball comes up to make the play at midfield. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Air on first down. Throws it. Throws it behind, but he has it. Right. It looks like they're going to go with a no huddle. Game of eight on the play. Let's go. Closing in with the pass. Complete to the wide receiver. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Play football. Here we go, baby. A week, a week. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Oilers. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. point after is good. The Oilers get closer but still need another score. I think that this team has really created some opportunities and has grabbed the momentum. The 
if they can recover this onside kick. They should be able to get into field goal range and tie it up. Here it is. They don't get it. <laughs> Baltimore is looking to end to their slim lead as they take over on offense. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. It's on. Let's run, man. Danny, Danny, Danny. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Gets the handoff on the delay. Young cuts him down at the 40-yard line. John, nothing there on that play. Looks like he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. They better mix up the play call a little more, trying to free up some space in the middle. That back just didn't have any help from his line on that play. So it's second and ten. Only one man back. Gives the ball off. Loses it. The Oilers pick it up. So they lose possession after fumbling it away. And it appears this one is going to be looked at. Yeah, and because it's in the last two minutes, that call came down from the replay booth. Clearly, a big momentum shift could be in the making as we take a look at a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge it because of what it could mean for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. No fumble occurred. So the referee agrees with the official upstairs, and this one has been overturned. Well, it was put in to right or wrong. And right there, it was wrong. And now it's right. Watch your eyes. Here we go. Keep the throttle down. Here we go. Give it to the halfback. Bingham makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Baltimore falters again on third down, John. And you know something? This is why teams lose games. They do some things right, but then when they need the big play to help win a game, they fall apart. His last field goal attempt was from beyond 50 yards, and he nailed it. The field goal attempt is good. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. Squib kick. From the 18. We've got a good one going here today. The quarterback trying to get his team closer here on first down. And it's every quarterback's dream to drive his team down and throw the touchdown that brings him back. I'll tell you, he wants nothing more than to do that right here. The home team come out in a 4 3. Wilson goes in motion with the pass. And he goes out at the 25 yard line. Watch this here. He gets his helmet right under his chin and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. that time John he's clearly one of the best in the league yeah he's one of those guys who's been playing for a while now but let me tell you he might never be better than he is right now the rush is on pressure coming it's rid of it incomplete and good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early any way you look at it an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy They're in a tough spot here, but they have to go for it. Jumping back to pass here, needing a big fourth down conversion with the pass. This pass is incomplete. They go for it and don't make it. That was a conversion the offense needed. They have to be disappointed 
And it's worse because now the other team has the ball. Separating these two very well coached teams. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.